Okay, so thank you everyone for coming to our session today. I would like to introduce my wonderful colleague, Patrick Cottrell, who is our education technology specialist. We always appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to spend with us. And let's get started. So take it off, Pat. Hello, everyone. I am Pat Cottrell, and uh, I'm excited you can join us today. Uh, I don't know if I'm excited about this more or the sunshine outside, but nevertheless, I'm excited you could uh, join us today. So I'm Pat Cottrell, education technology specialist here uh, in Cal. Uh, I'm responsible for um, evaluating, testing uh, new technology, also improving the technology that we, all, that we already have. In addition to, I'm, I'm the LMS administrator for uh, Blackboard. So again, thank you for joining me today. Uh, so before I get started, um, I want to ask, does anyone have any experience using a one button studio? Feel free to come off mute or you can respond uh, in the chat. David is manning the chat, so feel free to respond if you have any experience. I would love to hear it. Going once, going twice. Well, Pat, I would love to know though, um, why is it called a one button studio? Good question, David, good question. And before I get to that, I'm gonna go over the agenda <laughs> for today. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna discuss the purpose of the studios, kind of segue into David's question. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, different uh, layouts uh, you can use to record and present your content. Uh, I'm going to start here in the, in the one button studio and then I'm going to transition over to the Lightboard studio. And of course, uh, we're going to leave it open for Q&A. Uh, you can ask, you can come off mute if you want to ask a question or you can put it in the chat. David is going to be a uh, man in the chat uh, for any type of question. So um, also, before I get to David's question, uh, I want to let you know that this training here is uh, more of like a show and tell. But if you would like to uh, schedule uh, more of a deep dive uh, with us, uh, you can uh, go to our PD website. David's going to put the link in the, in the chat and you can schedule a one on one training session uh, with us. And we will definitely be more than happy to show you more about the studios. Right. Yeah, just to pick up on Pat's point, I put the link in the chat box. It's on our Calendly page. So if you do want to register, we offer these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, so Pat and I will be training you for this one button studio. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, David. So let's go back to David's question. What is one button studio? What is the purpose of the uh, one button studio? One Button Studios allows users to record professional looking videos without having any type of video production experience at all, right? And when you record these videos, they can be saved to a, a thumb drive, like what you see here, or those videos can be uploaded to the cloud, like your uh, OneDrive. Um, the Studios allows users to interact with the content, kind of like what you see me doing right now. And most importantly, uh, when you're using the studios, instructors can diversify their content to enhance student, the student experience. So that is what the One Button Studios are all about. Um, so here's a nice picture of the One Button Studio that I'm standing in right now. And when you come into the studio and you turn on the system, you will be in this mode here, which is self view with your PowerPoint presentation. So I'll be using PowerPoint uh, throughout this uh, demonstration. All right. Let me back up a little bit. So, um, so when you're in this mode, you have the option of different uh, stock backgrounds. You have four different stock backgrounds to choose from. So you have this beautiful blue, or we can go with this gorgeous gold, which reminds me of the outside. Uh, we have this library image here that I love. And you also have this office uh, background image. 
Now, if you don't like any of those images using PowerPoint, you can always incorporate your own background like what you see here. And Pat, I have a question from the audience. Awesome. Where is this One Button Studio? One Button Studio, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Building 71, 4256th floor. Okay. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into what you can do in a one button studio, right? Um, so one way that you can interact with your content in the studios is sequentially, right? Um, sometimes people, uh, when they're using uh, PowerPoint, they'll have um, all their content up on the screen at once. But the beauty about the one button studio is that I can bring in content sequentially, right? So let's say I'm talking about a particular process. This could be step number one, right? And I can say step number one is gonna take us to step number two using this arrow. But if I wanted to do a deep dive into step number one, look at this. Now I can just focus on step number one and also talk to you a little bit more about step number two. And then we can also bring in step number three. If I want to get a little closer to step number one, I can do that too. Look at that. Very cool, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this chart here, right? Of course, I could present the chart like this, but again, if I want to do a deep dive and I want to talk a little about rural females, right? I can talk about this bar here, right? I can instantly be on the other side of the chart, talk about urban males. I can discuss the age range here, 20, 20 to 24. Mm. And instantly come right back over to this side. Ah, this is my favorite. Animation, right? We can talk about these vessels here, right? I can focus on this part of the heart. And again, with the push of a button, I'm over here now. I can talk about the different organs, like this guy right here. Hmm. Anyone wanna take a guess as to what this particular part of the heart is? Anyone wanna come, come off mute? I have a special prize if anyone can guess the name of this organ is. Be five seconds. Five, four. A order. What is that? A order. A order. Hmm. Let me go to my. <laughs> let me go to my judges for a minute. Hang on. <laughs> the judges say you are correct. <laughs> you know why? Because I don't know what that part is. <laughs> but because you came off mute and because I like your answer, you're going to get a special prize complimentary of the cow team. You want to know what that is? What's that? The shiny 2021 quarter. <laughs> All for you. <laughs> Thank you for participating. Love it. We'll be right here waiting for you. So, yes, again. Beautiful animation here. We can interact with it. We can do what I just did, interact with the audience. We're not stuck with just having just a static image on the screen. And Pat, I have a question um, from Dr. Brown. How are you in front of the screen right now? What is that called? You mean right here? Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah. How are you in front of like the PowerPoint right now? Mm -hmm. Like it's behind yeah. you, right? How did this you do is, that? This is called full picture in picture, right? So we have the picture of the, uh, the uh, my PowerPoint here, and then my picture. So this is this is full picture in picture mode. And this is something that you can see yourself on the screen in front of you, right? So you know exactly where to point. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you come in for a deep dive one on one training, I'll show you exactly, and you will see yourself exactly how I'm making all of this happen. All the changes that you see me making is happening using one button, right? One button to make these transitions, one button to record, one button to stop, one button to, pre to, to preview your content after it's recorded. Very easy.
Excellent. And I see another question. How long can videos be? I guess, how long can you record these videos? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you're recording the video and the computer crashes, you know that you have been recording way too long. But <laughs> um, I can tell you that um, when you're putting videos together, you, sh you should definitely script it, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I would keep them at least no more than five minutes because we do want to maintain uh, the, the viewer's attention. So you don't want to have them too long. Uh, breaking them up would be ideal. Um, but so, yes, I mean, you, of course, you, you, you can record an hour long video in here, but that's really not uh, advisable. Excellent. Thank you, Pat. Sure. Yeah. Any other uh, questions? Well, I have a question. So based on what you've learned so far, uh, does anyone want to uh, share how you would use this uh, in your course? Or if, 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 you, if you have any ideas of how you could use this, feel free to come off mute. I think it would be nice to here. use. I think, I think it would be nice to use it to um, make it more interactive, but also to explain sometimes different difficult information or even those figures, for instance, when you um, have that chart, you know, you could actually talk about what that means and go, you know, and you talk about a deep dive, it allows you to really dive into it. And because you're right there at it, you right there on, against the picture, you could be pointing to the percentages, you know, getting more specific, you know, just so that you're grabbing the attention of your students and narrowing in on information that you really want them to highlight or focus. Absolutely. Right. Right. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Uh, I think also it would be great when we, sorry, I'm eating. I was in a meeting this morning. <laughs> so I, I think it would be also great when we do, like <clears throat> if there's another fe if a feature for Blackboard, for example, we would have Blackboard the course in the background and we see our hands go this, put this, and it would be really amazing. And if we wanna, put this in for a course or example, it could be like a welcome message where the faculty walk the student, where they wanna click, where is the assignment, where is the syllabus? Um, it's great. And thank you, Pat, for putting this together. <coughs> yeah, thank you, Fatma. And I see in the chat box as well, short videos for showing maps. All right, so if you have a map up on the screen, you can point at different places on the map and also showing charts, just like you're doing right now. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep, that's what it's all about, taking what we're currently doing with uh, WebEx and Zoom to the next level. Yeah. And Pat, I have another question. So I know you're showing PowerPoints now. Can you also show like a screen share of your computer, something like that, like if you're walking through on a website? Um, can I, I mean, pretty much anything um, that you have on your computer you can bring over to this screen. Now the system is optimized to work hand in hand with PowerPoint. So it knows once I put the presentation in presentation mode, it knows to go to this screen. Anything outside of, uh, outside of that would have to be dragged over to this screen. Mm -hmm. And let me see if I can demonstrate that. Let's see. So here's my web browser right here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So I can browse the web, whatever I like. Great. Thank you, Pat. That's Thank you. Cool. Any other questions? Going once, going twice. Okay, lively group here. <laughs> All right, well, um, I am going to transition over to the uh, Lightboard Studio. Uh, my colleague David is going to play a video uh, while I get set up uh, for that. Um, so David, if you want to take it away. Will do. So thank everyone so far. So Pat again is in the One Button Studio. I want to show an example of a video that we've made with our professor Frederick D. Ratliff about him using this one button studio and also his perspective. So I'll go ahead and share that on the screen for everyone here as Pat transitions into the other room. And is everyone able to see this video on my screen? 
Yeah, okay, so I'll go ahead and play it for everyone here. I believe it would be um, because when you're doing uh, both either asynchronous or, you know, especially when it comes to asynchronous, is you can definitely record and you can write, and of course you can edit in asynchronous mode, and you can always send that out later. And when it comes to synchronous, it's like, well, let's say if you have somebody answering questions on uh, certain platforms, then you can pretty much answer them right then and there. And then you can write everything out. So it's like, okay, well, here's a question. Let's say, well, how do you work a problem like this out, right? And then you could, you know, of course, as you're explaining, you can just like say, hey, this is how you do this, whatever, you know, but asynchronously as well as synchronously, I think it works wonders. So it's just like, you know, you have like, you know, where you have your usual board and you just stand behind it, just writing. So it's very good. I, I think it increases it in a way where, um, again, it's, it's for a lot of things, from what I've been seeing, it's not the traditional style. And so for a lot of students and for what I've seen, you know, a lot of them look at videos anyway. So my thing is if we're able to catch them where they are, then we can definitely pull them in. Because again, a lot of them are on social media a lot of the times. A lot of them are always on video, especially YouTube. Uh, trust me, Khan Academy YouTube is always you know, brought up in conversation. So if we're able to throw our hat into that, then they're definitely coming to us now for a lot of the help that they're seeking, so. <laughs> Without question. Without question. Because uh, I know for me, when it comes to technology and things like that, I always like to use it as an extension of what I'm doing. So I don't want to be something where you're just sitting, sitting there watching me write stuff down, is I can give you other applications, and as I'm explaining these things, I can you know, bring other slides in, I can write as I go, so it won't be something where it's just like you just see me do one thing as I'm going down the line, right? So when it comes to other colleagues of mine, I know they have a lot of content that they can really bring out, really more than what I have. So I would think that it would be beneficial for them to at least come and try this out. Because again, you're gonna be missing out on a world of, uh, of opportunities if you don't. So that's just my opinion, but you gotta try it out for yourself. With UDC's One Button and Lightboard Studios, creating videos just got easier. So I love that little tag from Pat, right? Creating videos just got easier. So that's a great kind of example of the power of this Lightboard Studio. You saw Fred, he was able to write directly on the screen for his math class. Um, as we wait for Pat to come on board, what are some other ways that you can think of right now of how to use the Lightboard Studio? And feel free to unmute or put in the chat box. Go ahead and check that for everyone here. Oh, and there's Pat, so I can see Pat now. David, it definitely, it definitely, I can see how it increases student engagement. I really, mm -hmm. I do. It yeah. definitely, li it definitely livens it up. I really, I mean, particularly, I know I'm looking at for my public management courses, and and then even when you just um, took a break on the previous screen, when you showed that new story, oftentimes I'm showing new stories. So by students seeing it and hearing it, you know, they're doing it together, but it gives them, you know, it's more impactful. You know what I mean? And I can see how this would really help and even liven up my class. Definitely. And also think about for your students, if they were going to do a presentation, they could right. also use the Lightboard Studio for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, so. even in that respect, this helps them with their presentation skills yep. as well. Definitely. A two for one. Yep. And I see Jordan also joined the room. So thank you so much. So Pat, yes. we are ready for the next section. Thank you. All right. Thank you everyone for sticking around. Um, so I am now in the Lightboard Studio, as you can see. Uh, what is the Lightboard Studio? Well, the Lightboard Studio uh, has a lot of the same features as the one button. You can record, you can interact with your content, but the beauty of the Lightboard Studio, as you saw in Fred's uh, video, you can annotate uh, on the screen while you are okay. presenting, right? You have multiple colors to choose from help with your annotation. 
That is the beauty of the Light War Studio. This image that you see is transparent. Why? Because when you're creating uh, your, your, your PowerPoint presentation for the One Button Studio, um, it's best to use a black background because the system will automatic, automatically remove black, giving you a transparent image like what you see right here. And of course I can move myself around with the push of one button, right? If I wanna show more of the image instead of myself. Or I can show more of myself, less of the image you see here. Okay, so let's 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 take a look at some um, uh, examples of what you can do in Lightboard Studio in terms of imaging and interaction. Okay. Let's see here. Pat, does um, does the particular colors or what you wear impact how you appear on the screen or impact being in the studio? Yeah, I'm gonna give you another quarter. That is a great question. Um, yes. Um, as you can see here, I have on dark colors. Dark colors is what's recommended when you're in the one lightboard studio. Uh, because again, as I mentioned before, the system removes black, giving you a transparent image like what you see right here. So dark colors, dark blue, uh, uh, dark grays work best. Anything light like you see here, right? If I, if I were to annotate, like that, and I have on the, the annotation is not as visible, right? But when I remove that, now you can see it's, it's a lot clearer. So great question, Dr. Yolanda, appreciate that. I think, Doc, well, I saw Dr. Brown, I think Dr. Brown was asking, and she said, it was, should she wear anything special? That's what it made me think of, yeah, so I was, it was in the chat. So thank great you, Dr. Question. Brown. Yeah. Great question, great question. So let's take a look at my skeleton here, right? So I can start off by displaying the skeleton by itself. Or I can talk before I display the skeleton, or I can bring the skeleton back like this. And again, it's transparent, right? Using PowerPoint, this image is transparent, right? So I can just draw a line here I can draw a line here and I know that this is the femur. Anybody want to take a guess as to what this is? What, what, what part of this skeleton is this? Anybody want to take a lucky guess? The knee other, knee. other than the kneecap. There you go. <laughs> and I believe in the medical profession is called, it's called a patella. I was going to say joint. <laughs> Kneecap, that's right. Oh I'm going to have a whole dollar before this thing is over with. I'm telling you. I failed my science class. <laughs> but you can see how we, how we just easily interacted with the content here, right? And again, all of this could be reported on video. I can even take a, 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 a screenshot of this, erase it, and bring it back if I want to. And if you come in for a deep dive, I'll show you exactly how that's done. Okay, but I want to move on. So do we have any questions so far, David? No questions so far in the chat box, but I did want to ask or reiterate. So when you're putting this image on the screen, how does it show transparent like that without a background? Well, another good question. And again, I'm using PowerPoint, and when you create slides for the Lightboard Studio, it's best that you have a black background because the system will automatically remove black, giving your image this transparent look. So this is a picture, sorry, so this is a, an image of a transparent- Hello, Jordan, how are you? Hey, how's it going? So this is an image of a transparent skeleton on a black PowerPoint slide? Yes. Yes. Actually, this is an image of a skeleton, right? But the system removes black from the PowerPoint, giving you this transparent look. 
That's awesome. I have a question, Pat. Uh, if I have a slide, black slide, and I put, uh, I write, I wrote in it in white. Yes. What, how it will be reflected in this setting? That's a good question. I'm not putting you on the spot, man. <laughs> That was a good, question. that was a perfect segue, Fatma. Perfect segue, <laughs> uh, 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 Fatma. I'm going to give you a quarter, too. Hey, I got a quarter. Here is, a, here is an image of a patent, right? This patent is white, right? And again, it's transparent, right? So I can take this patent and I can say, hey, number 10 is what? Number 10 is the handle of the patent. Right? And I can do it, sorry for the handwriting. And I can do it for everything that you see here on the screen, okay? And I'm not just limited to interacting with it this way. I can always make the patent more visible, right? Without any type of transparency. And I can just annotate down here, you know, I can, patent, you know, I can just write my little notes right here while students look at what's on the screen. Okay, or I can bring it back in this view here, right? Dr. Brown and I were going to ask the, we're asking the same thing. The way you're writing makes it seem like you're writing backwards because it comes out the right way. You see what I mean? How, how do you make it make seem like you're writing the right way to us? You see what I mean? It appears as if you're writing backwards, but you're not. I'm not writing backwards. But it appears I'm, 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 like, right, I'm, I'm just writing. It, it. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, when you see it, you see it how I see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm but not how writing is that happening? Magic. <laughs> Pure <laughs> magic is the beauty <laughs> of this studio, which is why we want folks like yourself to use it. It's magic. And we need to tell everyone about this magic that we have here at UDC. So it's automatically reversing the image, just like on Zoom, right? So if I wrote something right now on a whiteboard, you'll see it regularly in the mm -hmm. correct way because it just automatically does it in the system. So you don't have to do anything extra. You don't have to write backwards, nothing like you don't that. You have to write backwards. Nope. Yep. And Zoom, and that's why Zoom is the best platform to use for this. Okay. Uh, because okay. Zoom has features that, that allows the system to work the way it works. Any other questions? Uh, Pat, I have a question for you. <laughs> so I noticed when you wipe, it's really like taking a lot of effort. It feels like your workout. <laughs> is yeah. It, is it issue with the with the the thing that you are wiping, or what? It, what can make it easier for our faculty to wipe it easily? It looks like a workout. <laughs> this product right here makes wiping so much easier. Now I'm just being lazy. <laughs> I'm just being lazy using this, right? This is a really good cloth. Okay. Um, and we're definitely gonna need some more of these, but yeah. you just take your glass cleaner right here, right? And just okay. spray, right? And now okay. I can just wipe with ease, look at that. Okay, that, that may, okay. Cause I feel like you're having workout. <laughs> well, I am you having a workout. It's easier, not yes. a difficult yes. one. <laughs> and, and hold on, wait a minute. Stronger arms. <laughs> yeah. Doing like Karate done. Kid, wax on, wax off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I want to get more detail, you know, we can do this. Got a little squeegee here. A squeegee oh, here is do a little, car wash little, style. Little Taking the car wash. I'm doing the car, car wash style. Okay. See, we have it all. We have it all here in the. No streaks. Studio. No streaks. No streaks. And, 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 and you know, actually, there are streaks, but you can't see them. Mm. That's the beauty of the magic of the light board studio. <laughs> the Greeks don't show up, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you know, the uh, rep who, um, who we bought this from, that's, that was one of the things that he pointed out was that, hey, even though you, I, I, I may see streaks, you guys won't see them. So okay. I really don't have to wipe all like that, but uh, you know, I like to work out. So. Any other questions? No. Have okay. you ever been in sales, Pat? You're a good salesman. I have been in sales. As a matter okay. of fact, this is actually my second career 
uh, when I first started work, actually, yes, my second career, my first career, I was a sales merchandiser. So, mm. Yeah. That was a lot. You're, you're a natural. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. So here's another example of a, a patent. All right. There are different ways we can interact with that patent. Look at that. So up here, this is the patent when it's all together, right? Then when we break that patent down, we have numbers here. And again, we can talk about the individual parts as we are conducting our class. Beautiful. I'm gonna do it nice and lightly so Fatma won't think I'm struggling. <laughs> we wanna promote easier. All right, so now here's one of my favorites. Uh, so this is a, a, a loop sequence uh, example. Again, totally transparent. Here's the uh, text Fatma mentioned, what will the text look like? So in this example here, we have a formula over here on this side here, okay? And then we have our loop sequence that's going, that's going to correspond to our formula. Now using PowerPoint, we are highlighting where we are in our sequence here. And here's our formula, right? So we know that this part interacts with this part. And as we move forward, you know, we see that this part would interact with that part and so on and so forth. You get the idea, okay? Now, everything that you see here in the green is what you would annotate on the screen. This is actually what you would write on the screen as you're presenting this type of example, right? And there's the end of our sequence. Okay. Ah, and this is one of my favorites, right? Animation. So here is a chemical reaction, right? So once again, we would write our uh, formula up here, right? Lots of colors to choose from. This would be our formula. Then we would go to our graph here, potential energy here, our reaction here, right? Then we go into our, more of our um, chemical reaction. Then presto, our chemical reaction. Of course, we can talk about it this way or we can talk about it this way, we may even want to erase this and just focus on the actual chemical reaction. Okay. And again, everything that you see here in green is what you would write on the screen. So in conclusion, the Lightboard Studio is a place where you can let your creativity shine. Let your creativity shine. Any questions, David? No questions, but I see people are loving this. Um, so the audience loves it. This makes us excited, right? <laughs> I love that. And Fatma also put in the chat box, please register for the training. You can use that link right there. We do offer these Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday uh, for anyone here. It's a one-on-one -on -one training. We'd love to help you. So both Pat and I conduct those. Absolutely, absolutely. So and if we just, find... uh, mm -hmm. go ahead. You could, sorry, Fatma. No, go ahead, Jordan. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if we've already like taken uh, like the initial one-on-one -on -one training, are we allowed to like do more and just like continuously like train, like further familiarize ourselves with the software? Absolutely. Absolutely. Any, any, anything you need, uh, Jordan, uh, to, to, to learn more about the studios and what you can do, absolutely just reach out to us. We're more than happy to help you. Thank you. Yeah, and Jordan, since you're on the call, we'd love to hear your perspective of the training as well as how you envision using this in your own courses. Yeah, of course. So I, I took the training, I think, last week, early part of last week. Um, it was amazing. Um, thank you very much for everything you did, Patrick. Um, and yeah, it's just, 
being able to have access to like this kind of technology, uh, I'm on the fifth floor. So just being able to go up one floor and like have all this incredible, intuitive, like innovative technology, it heightens like everything we would like to do with any kind of like extension worker. I'm just envisioning having future presentations and working with like students or youth or families and community members. And we've all seen PowerPoints, we've all been in boring presentations, but to be able to have something like this that just like inherently elevates everything that you're able to do, um, it's really awesome. So I'm excited to continue learning more and finding ways to use this in our work. And Jordan, what kind of, or what courses do you teach? Like in what discipline? So I'm not a professor, I'm a maker fellow here with the causes mm. team. So we're establishing a maker space. So a lot of our work will be um, sharing experiential learning uh, opportunities with students. Um, so engaging them with some kind of models we have. And so again, anytime we would want to do like a virtual presentation of anything we have, we now have extra tools that are even more interactive and it is more lively and it's more fun to look at. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jordan. Any other thank questions you. for him, Pat? No, thank you, Jordan. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're gonna see me, you're gonna see me a lot, Pat. Good, good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and Jordan, we're also working on uh, developing processes in order for, if you wanna book uh, the studio, uh, you will be able to book it online, uh, just a more, it's uh, maybe two or three weeks and it will be all implemented on our website. But for now, you can email Pat or David uh, if you wanna book the studio to play around and try it out. Awesome, thank you. all Yep, and yeah, so Fatma, like she, said right now we are working on a system in calendly just like we do for all of our professional development that makes it really easy for you to book it right after uh, once you finish that training with pat or i right um i see a great question from patricia george it looks great but how can i use it for english classes so i'd love to throw that out to the entire group can you think of other ways we can use this for humanities um, just like english uh maybe when explain a certain grammar or uh uh, that would be great illustration. Specifically, I'm talking about the light, uh, light board studio uh, or um, for the one button studio, it could be welcome or introduction about your class. Show them where to click for assignments or get them accustomed to the, your course design. Yeah, this yeah. is great for, mm -hmm. for uh, just like Fama said, welcome videos, come in, record your welcome video. While you're recording a welcome video, you can annotate on the screen. Uh, the, the course. And again, this is just a different way to interact with your students, <clears throat> uh, it, you know, uh, without the traditional way of just recording just your audio or just sitting in front of your computer. This is a different way to interact with your students, makes it a little bit more engaging. So, yeah, you don't have to have things on the screen to uh, use these facilities. As you can see, this image of me is, is nothing but just the background, just me talking. And that's fine as well, so. And there is nothing impossible in this space. So again, we are learning as well. There's a lot of use cases that I think uh, faculty can bring it in. So if you have idea, we're more than happy. Uh, Pat has deep knowledge of a, 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 a using the one button studio. So if you have an idea, get it, get it to him and he will help you out. Yes. Okay, you have an thank idea, you, I appreciate that. If you have an idea, yeah. let your creativity shine. Yeah, definitely. And prof uh, Professor George, I, it's very interesting that you asked that question because we're training another professor for writing, um, Craig Wynn, and he is going to have his students do presentations in the Lightboard Studio to visualize their arguments and their writing. So just think about like a traditional PowerPoint, like Jordan said before, you can just make uh -huh. it even better and more dynamic. Okay, that sounds great, thanks. You're welcome, and we'd love to work with you, both Pat and I. We can consult with you. Really, the most effective thing to use for your classroom, right? And Pat is, uh, you know, when you say English, kind of, I'm, I'm looking at this sentence. Yeah, is, is your a preposition? <laughs> yeah. I remember in high, I remember in school yeah. we used to had to put uh, parentheses around prepositions, but I can't remember if your was a preposition. <laughs> Maybe I'm too old, but. This is one way you can use it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Identify the, the proper, the clause. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can use it for correct and um, correct grammar usage and yep. even structure. Mm -hmm. when there you, you go, you see? Right. There you go. So, yeah, see? thanks. Yeah, because that's, a, you know, like how to properly, you know, once the well-written sentence versus the sentence is poorly written. 
Yeah, we had the underline the verb and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of remember that. But yes, again, let your creativity shine. Sky is the limit. The limit. <laughs> I'm thinking too, um, I used to teach ESL. So for example, if I were to come in here and do a class, I could have a paragraph on the screen, like fill in the blanks and right. we can write it as we go along. And I'm asking the student, what's the blank right here? What's blank number two? And you can write it on this light board. Cool, I love this like brainstorming session for I love teaching. It. Perfect. Good ideas, yeah. Yeah. Any other well, questions? I, I have actually something to say uh, for everybody in here in the room. Uh, Pat is uh, has been with us for three months. Yep. And when he came on board with Cal, uh, we gave him an empty room and boxes. <laughs> and we gave him a contact to one button in the studio and tell him, can you put it together? Right. Uh, and, and he didn't he let did me leave all... that day until I did. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so he is uh, really uh, took that initiative and he put it together. Uh, it, without him, we would have been here. So thank you, Pat. I really appreciate it. In a, such a short time, you got this up to speed for UBC community. My pleasure. And I am looking forward to working with any and everyone to enhance this uh, experience and take it to even another level, right? Again, your ideas is, 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 is what we're going to use to, um, to deal with this initiative and um, uh, add even more things to the uh, infrastructure. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Pat. And I'll put our emails in the chat box, patrick.cottrell at udc.edu, as well as mine, david.cerna at udc.edu. You can email both of us. If you have any questions, we can set up a time for you. If you'd also like to sign up for your one-on-one -on -one session, you'll see that link right there to register for the training. I'll go ahead and put that again. Thank you, Fatma. Perfect. Any final thoughts or questions from the group? I need my photo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Exquisite bow tie. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Pat, get Fatma a quarter as well as Yolandra. What? I think it's a dollar now. So <laughs> remember that, Pat. I got you covered. Got it. Yeah, thank well, you thank you, so everyone. Much. It's been such a pleasure. Uh, we've had a lot of laughs today on this Friday after a long week, right? So we appreciate you coming today. Pat, you did a wonderful job. Thank you so thank much. You. Any thank final you. thoughts be, do you, to end the webinar, Pat? Let your creativity shine. <laughs> yes, love it. There you go. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Happy this Friday, will be everyone. Uploaded to our YouTube channel as well. And we really hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much for coming here. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you again. Have a nice one. Bye bye. Thank you. Have a good week.